Welcome, Snoozy Fam, to another Frightmare Friday, where we scour the internet to find some of the most terrifying nightmares people have had. You won't want to miss today's episode. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content on dreams, nightmares, and all things sleep. Psychotherapist Annie Armstrong Miao said that, Nightmares are a way for us to process our fears, both the spoken, obvious fears we possess and the unspoken, less conscious fears. Nightmares also help us prepare for the worst case scenario, solve problems, and better understand our existential fears. Today's story is inspired by an anonymous user about being on a plane during a plane crash. Now, let the dreams begin. That morning, I was talking to my friend over the phone. We were catching up after a long time of not seeing each other. It was a very friendly conversation, one where I always felt incredibly comfortable. In between our conversations, my cat sat beside me and kept meowing, interrupting us. Then my mom knocked on my bedroom door, and I went over to open it. She gestured for me to come out, and I nodded. As she slammed the door behind me, all of a sudden, everything around me started to fade, as if I was losing my vision. Then it all went pitch black. I was in shock. When I was finally able to regain my vision, I was back in my room. I quickly jumped out of bed and immediately ran towards the door. As I opened it, the hallway lights flickered violently, similar to a scene straight out of a horror movie. I took a deep breath and continued forward, walking towards the dining room. I looked around at the empty dining room and then proceeded to sit down on the faux leather chair. In the background, I could hear my parents arguing over something intense. As I looked around the dining room and living room, something felt very unfamiliar. The walls, the carpets, the decor, and the overall layout was wrong. Then I realized that I was not in my own home. Did I just have a stroke? Where am I? Why can't I remember how I got here? My mom came out of the kitchen and stared at me with a strange look on her face. She said, why aren't you packed? We have a plane to catch in an hour. I looked at her in confusion, wondering what the heck was going on. She kept talking to me, but everything she said came out all muffled, like I had water inside my ears or something. All I could make out from what my mom was saying was, we have a plane to catch in an hour. I had no idea what was going on, but I decided to walk back to what seemed like my room and started packing my bags. I remember packing my favorite rock band t-shirt and my lucky sweater. I didn't go anywhere without it. While frantically packing, I heard a small ticking sound by my window. I walked over to my window and took a peek outside. I was surprised to see that it was just blue skies and white fluffy clouds as far as I could see. I turned my head back towards my room, only to find myself inside an airplane. The setting around me had transformed from my room to the inside of a plane. My brother was sitting beside me as he smirked at me and made a snarky comment about my lucky sweater I had on. I looked around and saw my parents sitting on the other side of the aisle, sleeping comfortably. Oddly enough, seeing my parents and my brother on the plane with me, I felt a sense of calm. And then I reclined my seat back and closed my eyes. Suddenly, there was a thunderous sound outside. It was so loud that it made me jump out of my seat. I looked around at everyone and everyone else on the plane seemed to be okay with it. All of the passengers, including my parents and brother, sat calmly. It was as if I was the only one that heard that sound. Am I going crazy? Then the sky outside became dark and our plane started to shake vigorously and my vision started to get blurry. I quickly stood up and ran towards the cockpit where the pilot was. As I ran past other passengers, I noticed that everyone else still did not have a care in the world. Then I heard a loud bang at the tail of the plane and our plane began to nosedive. I kept on slamming the door of the cockpit for the pilots, but there was no response. Seconds later, I heard a second bang. This time was far louder than the first. It sounded as if the plane got hit by a large asteroid. Clearly our plane was going down and we were about to crash. I ran back to my seat and quickly buckled in, getting ready for a crash landing. I looked at my parents across the aisle and they were still sleeping soundly. I turned towards my brother and he was laughing and pointing at me as if I told him a funny joke. I grabbed him by the shoulders and shook him and yelled, this is not a joke, we're going to die. I looked out the window and at that point, all I could see were mists of cloud that was flying by as we hurled towards the ground. There was a beep on the plane announcement and the flight attendant proceeded to say, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 
Our staff will now be coming by with some light refreshments and snacks. So please stay in your seats and you will be served shortly. What is going on? Why am I the only one reacting to this horror? Now, the plane is in complete freefall and the nose of the plane is pointed directly at the ground. Bags, iPods, phones, and other debris was flying past me as I hung on for dear life. Our plane is crashing, the pilot finally declared over the announcement, but there was no panic or screaming from the other passengers. It was as if planes were supposed to be crash landing as opposed to landing softly on the runway. I rubbed my eyes and looked out the window again. Now I could clearly see where we were about to crash land, and it was not Earth. It was the fiery sun. The entire plane was filled with intense light as we fell closer and closer towards the sun. I gripped my seatbelt as tight as I could as I braced for impact. I looked over at my mom as she unbuckled her seat and floated towards me. She came so close that I could almost feel the warmth of her cheek on mine. Then she whispered in my ear in a sinister tone, We have a plane to catch in an hour. That voice was not my mother's, and it was closer to that of a devilish being. My entire body went numb as I closed my eyes, accepting the fact that I was going to die on this plane. When I opened my eyes and looked around, I was back in my bedroom. My phone was on the floor and I could hear my mom yelling from the downstairs. Hurry up! We're going to be late. We have a plane to catch in an hour. I realized that I had fallen asleep during my phone call with my friend. This is by far one of the wackiest nightmares I have ever had. Have you had a life or death type of nightmare? How does yours compare to ours? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and click on that bell notification for more amazing content like this. Share this with a friend if you think they may need a little wake up call. Thanks for watching and until next time, sleep well.